Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Italian Mathematical Olympiad 2015 problem number 4. We wish to find all integers a and b such that the following Diophantine equation is satisfied. a cubed plus b cubed plus 3 times ab equals 1. So my hints for this problem are the following. Try to factorize a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab minus 1. It's a bit tricky, but pay attention, in particular, pay attention to a plus b minus 1 in some shape or form. And then you should also at some point use the following identity, the u squared plus v squared plus w squared plus vw plus wu plus uv can be expressed as the following sum of three squares. So we'll give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I hope that you've managed to solve this problem. My solution will be the following. So let's take everything, a cubed, b cubed, 3ab and minus 1. And let's do the following trick. We know that a cubed and b cubed can be factorized as a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared plus 3ab minus 1. Okay. And now I will do the following. I will add, I will subtract minus 1 and I will add 1. And now I will split this into two different expressions. So first will be, will be a plus b minus 1 times the second parentheses. And the second will be plus a squared minus a b plus b squared plus 3ab minus 1. And if you look closely, If you look closely, these three terms, we have a squared, b squared, plus 2ab. They, this part can be written as a plus b squared minus 1. And finally, or maybe not finally, but we can now factorize the last part and we will get a plus b minus 1 times a plus b plus 1. And look, we have a common factor. Namely, this common factor is a plus b minus 1, a plus b minus 1. So we have a plus b minus 1, a squared minus ab plus b squared plus ab plus b plus a plus b plus 1. Okay, so now we have a nice product form. And remember that we want our equation, our expression to be equal to zero. So either a plus b equals one, or the second option, a squared plus b squared minus a b plus a plus b plus one equals zero. Let's move it a little to the left. Okay, very well. Uh, well, the first option is already solved. There is nothing to be done. It cannot be simplified any further. This is satisfied by all the integers such that a plus b equals 1. But the second equation can be simplified. And now I will make use of the identity which I hinted at. Because look, here I have a, a squared, here I have b squared. And here I have 1 squared. Moreover, here I have minus AB, here I have A times 1, and here I have B times 1. So all of that can be written in the following way. A minus B squared 
or rather one half a minus b squared plus one half a a plus one squared plus one half b plus one squared equals zero. It's the identity which I hinted at at the beginning. Uh, you can easily verify that this is, this is in fact true. And now look, here we have three squares which should be equal zero. That happens only at one. That can only happen under one circumstance. Namely, a must be equal to b, a must equal minus one, and b must be equal minus one, which is of course satisfied by pair a b, which is minus one, minus one. Okay, and now here we have our solutions. In fact, oh, let's write it. Solutions. Solutions are as follows. Either a and b equals minus one, minus one, that's one possibility, or a is arbitrary integer, let's say, and b equals uh, one minus a. So we have, in fact, infinitely many solutions. Uh, so yes, it the tricky part was factorization. You very often in these types of problems, the tricky part is factorization. But um, well, what can I say? The, I can give you one hint. It's so our uh, result is proven, but I may give you, may give you one more hint. Uh, maybe to come up easier with this solution. So let's take again our equation. It was a cubed, b cubed, plus 3ab equals 1. So sometimes it's a good idea to express this equation in terms of the sum and the product of numbers a and b. So namely, let's set, let, for example, x be equal a plus b, and let y be equal a b. If you do that, we will get the following. Again, after factorization, we'll have a plus b, a squared minus a b plus b squared plus 3ab equals 1. Mm, and here, this part, the second parenthesis, can be written as a plus b squared minus 3ab plus 3ab minus 1 equals 0. And after our substitution, we get x, x squared minus 3 times y plus 3 times y minus 1 equals 0. And now it may be easier to see that if x equals 1, this, this equation is obviously satisfied. So x equals 1 is obviously a solution a solution, which means then we can divide the left-hand side, we can divide our polynomial by x minus 1. We can divide x, x squared minus 3 times y plus 3 times y minus 1 by the binomial x minus 1. And if you do that, you will get, after substituting back uh, x equals a plus b, y equals a times b, you will get exactly the same equation as I got here. Uh, it may be easier for some of you to factorize it in this way. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.